Hi everyone, welcome to Green Monk TV. We are here at the SAP for Utilities Conference in Singapore, and with me I have Nofil from Karachi Electric Power Supply Company Limited. Okay. Nofil, um, you gave us a talk this morning about the kind of practical issues you faced in Pakistan around the rollout of your billing solution. Can you give us a, a synopsis around that now? Yeah, sure. Um, first of all, um, KSC, uh, Karachi Electric Supply Company, was the first one to start on this project. There are about nine other utilities in, in Pakistan. And so we're actually setting up the role model uh, for the energy uh, sector in, in Pakistan. Um, we started using ISU, um, and immediately the, the first challenge was that, mm, that we don't find any of those uh, consultants or people trained in the, in the use of this, so we had to go for foreign consultants. Um, you might know that Pakistan doesn't really sort of figure very high on places to visit uh, <laughs> for <laughs> consultants. So um, we had actually three sets of consultants change over the duration of the project. Well, why did um, they change? Well, um, first time it was, um, I would uh, sort of um, uh, maybe focus on the consultants coming in and the company that brought them in, not really understanding the challenges that they would face in terms of coming into a country like Pakistan and um, how to ensure that the consultants stay on. Second time around, um, there was um, uh, purportedly uh, uh, an issue related with security in Pakistan, which was not really the case. So, um, because we had other consultants who kept on uh, the project, so I think it's more to do with the ability to you know get the right type of consultants into Pakistan uh, and to be able for them to complete the project all the way through to the end. And so um, we sort of, in this, uh, by the second time around, we sort of focus, uh, fear, um, sorry, um, figured that out. And so um, we had to start building up for those eventualities. And that's what we did in terms of building our own team, which was able to work with the consultants coming in. And in those interim periods, they were able to continue with the project uh, to finish uh, in a pretty much on time that we had projected to the management. Okay, so you you brought your own team up to up to uh, the, the 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 levels of the consultants so that they could take over when the consultants left. Exactly, um, and the re the way we did that was that, like I mentioned in my presentation, um, we got uh, you know the brightest students coming out of the different universities, uh, showed them that you know you'll be working on a project which is new to the country, which got them excited, and. Um, as they worked with the foreign consultants, they were able to pick up, that That was part of our understanding with the consultants as well, that they have to transfer knowledge um, and um, so that our team could actually take it on from there because the, the whole concept was we we're not going with the Big Bang Theory. We want to do it as a rollout project. So we wanted to first go live with maybe um, a small area, about 200,000 um, consumers. Mm -hmm. And then we wanted our team to be trained enough to actually carry that over to the rest of the two million consumers. Uh, so a total of 2.2 million consumers that we have. Okay, great. Nofal, that's been fantastic. Thanks for talking to us today. Thank you.